Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to do a tutorial about the tic-tac-toe game on Scratch or the XO game. Um, so first of all, as you can see, um, I've already done the backdrop. Um, just four lines <coughs> to uh, draw the squares. And uh, now I have to go to... Uh, no, sorry, I have to draw sprites. So you go to paint. And um, I have to draw a white um, rectangle so uh, I pick the color white and um, no no outline okay the square has to be uh, in the perfect size with the backdrop so here as you can see I have to make it smaller I think that fits okay that's perfect and uh, I'm going uh, to name this uh, costume white okay now I have to uh, duplicate this costume because uh, for this one I need a gray square so uh, I have to change the name to gray and here's um, uh, Grading the area size, and I have to array this white square and draw uh, a gray square in its place. So pick this color; it's not really dark. No, this all is just for the beauty, so it's not necessary, and uh, it have to be at the same side of the other one. Okay, that fits perfectly. And this have to be in the middle. Yes, and now I'm going to uh, duplicate again this costume, but I'm going to change the name to X. And the same thing, I'm going to erase the gray square. Now I'm going to write a text with the letter uh, X. Okay, and I have to change the color to red, I think. Okay, I'm going to make it red. And the size has to be bigger. Okay, I don't think this will fit. Just a moment. Okay, that's too big, so we have to be smaller. And that's perfect. Yes, that's okay. And um, now I have to uh, duplicate this costume again, but this time I'm going to name it O and I have to change the text to the letter O. And also the color has to be green. So here, as you can see, I'm picking light green. And the size is good, I think. Okay, the size is good, so, um, okay, this has to be in the middle, or in other place, I didn't know. And now I'm picking the gray one, because it has uh, the code, so, um, first of all, I need nine of this square, so, um, First of all, I'm going to events and I have to pick when the green flag is clicked. Then we go to looks and here I think we need, okay, I need this one, switch costume to and I have to change the costume to white. Yes, and now we go back to motion and um, Pick, uh, go to X and Y, I think, yes, go, uh, pick this one. 
okay. Okay, now you go to looks and um, we pick show, so it will show in the fir first step. And you go back to control and we pick repeat, but for this one it's not 10 times, it's only 3 times, so I have to change it. and we have uh, to pick another repeat and the repeat and uh, the same thing we have to change it to three times now we need a crane clone of myself and uh, we go to motion again and here we have to pick a change x by and after we have to pick set x2 okay it has to be just under this and as i said we need set x2 okay it has to be here not just under it <coughs> sorry Now we have to pick a uh, change y by and uh, okay that's fine now we go to looks and we pick height yes Okay, it's, as you can see, we have uh, these squares, so uh, we need another step, it's not done yet. Okay, um, it took a lot of space. Okay, now I have to change the x to negative 90. And also the Y, I have to change it to negative 90. And uh, for the X here, it has to be 90, yes, positive. And set X to uh, negative 90, yes. And for Y, I think we need uh, 90. And then for the next step, um, we have another coat, not with this one. Um, we need, uh... okay, now I found it, and um, we have to go down, and uh, we pick when I start to clone. Yes, and after we pick when I start to clone, we have to go to um, uh, control, Yes, a control, and we have to pick uh, uh, for forever. And after we have to pick if, then, and else. We have to put it in the forever one. And uh, we have to go to sensing and we have to pick touching mouse pointer, pointer sorry. So when you touch the mouse pointer, X or O will show on the screen. But um, we have more steps, so they will show. Okay, let's put it here. Uh, okay, that's better. And... Uh, Next we have to, uh, I think now we have to go to control and we pick if then, not like the other one with else, only if and then. And uh, we have to go to operator, sorry, and we pick uh, this one. Okay, I'm not sure if it's this one. Wait. 
Okay, it doesn't fit there. Oh no, that's a circle. Uh, sorry, I need the other one with the 50. Yes, we need to grab it. Yes, okay, now it fits. And uh, we have to go to looks and we pick um, the costume uh, one. Uh, yes, a costume number. And we put it in the circle. And we have to change the 50 by 2. Yes. Oh, 1. I'm sorry. And after we have to go uh, to looks again. And we pick switch costume 2. Yes. And uh, the costume has to be grey. And in the control for this one, um, we need if and then, okay, with no else. Okay, it has to be there, just before the else step. And we have to go to sensing, and we pick mouse down. So uh, when you put the mouse down, it has to go back to uh, gray. And, uh, okay, not the sound, there is no sound here. Yes, it's in looks, because the colors are just like twins. And we pick the costume number. So, I stopped the video for a moment, because uh, there is a mistake, and it took me a while. So, now it has to be if mouse down and costume number it, uh, is two. Yes, and uh, for the next, we need a 50 in uh, between if and then and we need the mode okay and it has to be in yes we go to variables and we have to make a variable uh, let's name it toggle for example yes i took this from uh, from another man yes uh, we may have to make it for all sprites and uh, you can see the toggle uh, besides the backdrop and we have to put a toggle here in this small circle yes and um, after the mode we need to pick it uh, put it sorry two and uh, equal one yes and uh, okay this seems uh, difficult but don't worry uh, there is a result after all and uh, after this we have to go back to looks and um, we pick switch costume 2 and put it right there um, just a moment okay we need another costume we need two and uh, this one has to be X and the first is already O and uh, I messed up another time with the oranges so uh, here we have to go to variables not to go to control and we have to pick change my variable by one uh, here we have to pick the toggle that we already named and um, after okay let's make it more smaller yes because it took a long space And we have to go to control and we have to pick if and then and we have to pick the equals in queen in operators and put it in its place and now we have to go to looks and for this one we need uh, Switch cost no, it's not switch costume. Okay, X costume number, and we put it in the circle, the white circle, the first one, and equals to um, which one do I need here? Okay, equals to two, yes.
after we need okay no I have to try to wait a moment I have to put it here okay I have to delete something right there um I only want to delete this one, the if, uh, yes, and uh, it has to be right there with the else, okay, yes, that's perfect, and um, now I think this is the last step, step, sorry, you have to pick switch costume 2 in uh, looks and here it have to be white yes okay let's check it here okay um don't worry there is no mistake it's just something in the draw okay as you can see when i tap the, the rectangle it has to show x or o and in turn for example the first is o wait Okay, the first one is X and I have to put it in the right places or I have to change the backdrop, there is two ways you can choose and uh, for example I also played X so now it's O and the next one is X, yes and now it's O Now it's X again, and uh, it's O here, and it's X here. Okay, I don't think it will work with um, the changing sprite thing, so I think I'm gonna change the backdrop, not the sprite, because when I turn it off and I click the green flag again, okay, yes, as you can see, it uh, goes back to the first places. So, what I'm gonna do, first, uh, I have to change now the backdrop place, okay, okay, you go to backdrop, you go to the paint, and uh, we click this little one and I have to change the, the places of the lines yes it has to be up you have to be careful from the uh, from the first step because I made a mistake and uh, you should be careful and I also have to change this line okay that's good Let's see if it's perfect or not. I think we need to change it another time. Yes, I need a little more of uh, space. Um, let's keep it on the green flag. So when I go to backdrops, I can see when should I put the lines. Yes, okay, let's, uh, it's already picked, okay, let's change this one, okay, a little more, okay, I think that's good, okay, okay, that's perfect, now for the other line, it has also to be on the right, yes, okay, that's good, and now for the third line, it has to be up and uh, on the right, yes this has to be also up and now uh, for we go back to the third it has to be right there and now for the last one it has to be just like in the middle okay that's good so uh, okay sprite Okay, as you can see, this is the code and uh, everything, so let's stop, and you can see here, if I play, uh, the X and O are the, in the same places, yes, X, 
Now we need O, X, O, X, and lastly O. And now that I'm done with the first part, I'm posting the second part when we have to pick the winner. Is it X or O? And how the text will show on the screen. So uh, goodbye.